I have a really big photography business update today. Actually a couple. As of yesterday, I fully um, registered my business. I have um, contracts all set up and everything. So I'm moving forward with everything, which is great. Um, I also got a gift today from someone, um, which is really cool. So it says Allie's Photography on it. I know that's always backwards on here. Um, but yeah, it's really cute. And it's just got lots of pockets and room in here. Now the biggest news I have, for me at least, and I will explain. This is not something I was planning on doing anytime soon, but there are a lot of reasons why. <sighs> it's not a Panasonic. It's in a Lumix bag, but it's not. Um, Canon cameras are on a really, really good holiday deal right now. Some of them, like this one, have never been this low. So, ta -da! I upgraded to the Canon R6, which means I traded in my Canon RP in order to do it, um, which made me a little sad because um, that was one of the few cameras I bought brand new, so it's only ever been mine. I liked it a lot. I got it for being a small travel camera and being a backup camera to my 5D4. The problem is I never felt like it was a solid backup camera. It has one card slot, that's kind of a problem. No image stabilization, kind of a problem. Apparently the Mark IV doesn't either, but I never felt like that was as much of an issue on that one. Uh, I never felt like it focused super well on people um, and it was really slow to take photos, which is the one thing that drove me nuts. That's kind of what drives me nuts about some of my older Olympus cameras. My newest one, the or the highest end one I have, the OMD Mark II, EM1 Mark II, is super fast and super snappy, but I don't love the full frame, or the full frame, the micro four thirds look on like portrait style stuff that I do. Um, I really wanted a good full frame camera and like I do dance photography too as well. I also still wanted a good mirrorless because I do have RF lenses. I have a 35 and a 16 RF lens um, for um, doing like real estate um, photography and such and wide shots. Uh, so I still wanted an RF lens or camera. I figured this actually might now be my main camera and the 5D will actually be my backup. So um, I already kind of did smoking at the store. Um, got the charger here and the battery is the same battery. It's got the little thing on it, but this is the <laughs> same battery as the 5D4. Um, other than it's a newer version that's supposed to help with like the overheating when you're doing video. I don't do really videos, so I don't think that'll be an issue. But that means I already have two other batteries that work for it, which is great. I'm gonna put it back there. <laughs> we have the strap that I will probably never use because I use the straps that I buy instead. My fun straps. I actually asked for a harness for Christmas, so we will see. And now, that's all left in here. All right, so here it is. This is the Canon R6. Now, it is definitely bigger in my hand than the RP was, which I already knew going into it, it's going to be. It's got the dual card slot, it's got the bigger battery. Um, so if I get my Mark IV, come over here, and we compare, which of course this has a lens on it right now, but Mark IV and R6, they're fairly similar, um, but it's really, a lot of it's the autofocus on this that I really want it for. And I also have like, so if I were to put, now I didn't charge my battery yet, I could grab a spare battery, but um, if I were to put like, say my 16 millimeter lens on here, nice little tiny lens, this is what it would look like then with that lens on there. So it's a fairly small little setup there with that, which is good for that. Um, now, if I were to grab, <laughs> we're just gonna take it out of the 5D4 because the battery is not charged yet because I haven't had a chance to do that. I also don't have a memory card in here yet. So um, let's see. Oh, there's a little charging port down here too. That's new. never happened with that before. All right. This is the first time I'm turning it on. <laughs> this is exciting. Let's flip our little screen out, which also is a big plus. That's what I loved about the RP2 is having the articulating screen is huge. Ta-da! Oh, I gotta set the date and time. Let's see. It is not January yet, thank goodness. It's December 20th, 2022, and it is 22. 
Ugh, military term. I don't know. Oh wait, we're in. I'm not in London. I'm in New York. Time zone. There we go. Okay. It's not two though. It's. Hmm. I'm really bad at military time. Twelve. Okay, sixteen. Sorry. And at that point, yep. Yeah, okay. Now we're good. All right. <laughs> Sorry about that. You get to watch me set my time and date. Okay. This is such a wide lens on here. It looks so funny. Oh yeah, I have to set all my settings still. Oh, I'm on P. I'm not on M. I'm like, why is this not adjusting the way I like it to? Okay. Um, that's good. Oh, my ISO is down there. Okay. So... That is only quite missing, only missing focus slightly, but wow. That's pretty impressive actually. The foc close focus distance on this 16 millimeter lens is really close. Like that's actually really impressive for that. Um, now let's see what it looks like with my big L lens on it <laughs> because that's what will probably be on it the majority of the time. So. Let's see here. It is pretty heavy, but my RP was pretty heavy with it too. So that's what it looks like with my 51.2 EF lens. Um, I don't see any reason to buy the RF. I've heard that it works great on these and I've heard that it's even better now that you have this special like auto focusing too. So I'm like, okay, I'm not really worried about that. See, it's on my face so fast. That's awesome. Um, so I think this will probably be my main setup. Um, I would bet that because of the adapter, this is not a weather sealed kit right here. Whereas like I know the 5D4 with this 1.2 would be, there's also no, real note that the six is the r6 is weather sealed i think it says it's somewhat but not as much as the 5d that thing is rugged which i have been told many times um mirrorless camos just aren't as rugged although my olympus ones are so if i'm ever out in really bad elements i'm probably taking those anyway um but yeah so this is my new camera um the only other things i still need to do are attach my little rings on here so i can put my strap on and put an sd card in and that's it and start using it. So I'm really excited to use this.